So when you're designing an AK silencer from front to back, there's a few things you have to overcome. The first one is the mounting issues. So as everyone knows, AKs inherently have some loose tolerances on their threading, a little bit of off concentricity and stuff like that. So what we do there is first design the baffle system to shoulder against the crown of the barrel instead of anywhere else so you get a good solid lockup system. Um, the next thing we do is design the baffle stack so it is cut conically to accommodate for those looser tolerances. The first baffle on a normal one is right at about 33 caliber. It tapers out to about a 46 right here. All right. Um, the next thing you have to combat is your, your overgassing. AKs and Harley are very overgassing guns. So what we do is we drop the first baffle, we enlarge the, the expansion chamber so you have more time for those gases to expand, slowing that dwell time down to keep the bolt from coming back and getting all the gas in your face. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want it to be able to mount on all your factory AKs. So we have all your different thread inserts for your, your Creeks, uh, your 74Us, your 26s, your 28s, uh, your 14, 15, all that stuff, stuff. We have all those different inserts. And then we crank it out of the gun, crank it down, and you lift this detent out of this shelf and it locks on to your front sight post detent. So you take this stop collar right here, and you turn it down, and it locks everything together. So the lux of the PBS-1 are great, but it is actually fully functional as far as how it works and why we have it. So everything locks on very soft. Alright, great. Now, I got a real technical question, but okay. it may be fairly easy to answer. Sure. Would you explain the problem with concentricity on AK-47s? And this is important because my customer that has bought how many 30 caliber suppressors from Hyatt Gun Shop right. doesn't understand why he needs that suppressor instead of, say, his Sandman That's L. Well, for a, lot, for a lot of reasons, is there's not really any AK that comes with a standard half or five eighths thread pattern. Um, the other thing is, if you look at an AK barrel, there's no shoulder for the suppressor or suppressor mount to shoulder against. So they're going to spend a lot of money having the barrel redone and rethreaded and stuff to fit an actual mount. So that's why you have that. Is it still, so it still works on a direct factory AK without a lot of modification. That's your biggest benefit. The next, the next, benefit, the next biggest benefit is obviously your gassing. As far as the unconcentricity goes, that's just the way they're cut with loose tolerances and stuff like that. So, so what actually does uh, inconsistent concentricity mean? Inconsistent concentricity is just an off-axis thread pitch. So it's not perfectly straight down the bore. It'll be off a little bit. So it's, it's just a looser tolerance. A lot of times also you'll have an off-axis bore to where your bore hole doesn't line up dead center. It'll be off to one angle, I'll block on, I'll block on like that. So. So the danger with that would be a baffle, having a baffle, baffle strike. strike or an in-cap strike, yes sir. Okay, great. So we can eliminate the need to have a second suppressor or to replace one due to a baffle strike on an AK by purchasing yes, this is designed the to work on Dead all. Air Wolverine. Yes sir. All right, guys, the Dead Air Wolverine is available at Hyatt Gun Shop. We have them in stock right now. We'll do your Form 4 for you. Give me two weeks, and we'll be doing fingerprints and photographs on site. We'll be your one-stop shop. Thanks. Have a great day.